Hello guys. So, uh, after so much time, I finally got a new scooter. Uh, it's my second electric scooter and uh, this thing is a beast. I mean, when I mean a beast, it's literally... It's ripping the ground off, man. So, uh, this scooter is from the company Hudax, yeah, a very cool grip tape here. Um, it's a uh, 60, yeah, 60 volts, 40 amps per hour, uh, 40 amps per hour, that's a lot, to be honest. Uh, that, this, thing's, uh, this thing lasts for like, I think, 100 kilometers. Um, if you uh, cruising at a speed of let's say 50 I think 50 40 45 which is a lot still in the city 60 volts 40 amps per hour this thing can go up to 80 85 kilometers per hour I didn't measure it uh, like maximum because I'm too afraid to be honest this thing is just crazy um yeah when if you're riding i'm usually riding on mode uh two turbo and dual this thing <laughs> it's a beast the wheels are spinning in the air they're basically ripping off the ground so they, they it's too much power basically so very careful that's why i have a helmet then uh, yeah, let's go for it. Hydraulic disc brakes in front, yeah, and in the back. They're not bad. They're good. Uh, yeah, they're they're really good. Plus, they have uh, motor braking. The scooter have motor braking, which also helps with braking. Uh, but I think I'll get this out because it's actually braking too much. <laughs> it's basically when when you're speeding you go basically when you accelerate you go back because the acceleration is too big and when you're braking you basically go uh, forward because the braking is too too good. Um, yeah, everything is isolated here. The cables looks very good and it's very stable, very good. Um, you can adjust the height of the scooter uh, right here. Yeah, you get this out and you... Uh, it has three positions. Now it's in the middle one, so you can make it even higher. For me, I'm 1 meter 80 centimeters and uh, 68 kilograms. And uh, this thing is alright in the position, in the middle position. Uh, yeah, the scooter comes with a bag and with a seat. But I don't use the seat. Uh, let's talk about the suspension on this thing. The suspension here... In the front is a hydraulic, looks like a uh, <laughs> uh, suspension from uh, It's really good, um, the suspension is really good. Uh, here in the back we have a spring-loaded suspension. I think so, don't judge me, I don't really know how it's called. I think it's a spring-loaded because it has a spring. Um, when it came, so a helpful tip is when it came, uh, you always need to make sure that uh, it has some grease in these bolts. I mean, not on these bolts, but here, inside of this. So you basically you take out the bolts and you put some grease there. And also on the shock, in the shock, not on the, uh, on the shock, sorry, in. So you need to take out the shock. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about from it a, later, but I don't know. I already done it, so... Uh, it was squeaking before and now yeah, let's uh, I'll do a quick uh, suspension test and I will show you Suspension is really good. I mean this thing is made for off-road so uh, Let's get through the buttons after that. I will show you the lights and everything uh, here. It says the voltage But now it doesn't stop because you don't I don't have the key. Uh, this is light you this is off, this is on, yeah, off. Uh, this, a uh, very nice feature, it has some um, 
how do you call it? I don't know how you call it. The middle position is nothing, so we neutral, it doesn't show anything. Left, it shows left, right, it signals to the right. Uh, we have the horn here, not pretty alright horn, I don't use it anyways. Maybe you can, I mean, you can use it, but I don't like to use it. Uh, because it scares people. <laughs> Here we have uh, the screen with everything, uh, it's turned off now because I don't have the key now, but I'll make sure to bring it. Here's the power button, so after you put the key in it, you turn the key, you press the power button, hold it for like 2-3 seconds, and after that you can choose whatever mode you want. This, things have, this thing have 3 modes. Um, so usually I write in the second mode because the first one is too crazy for me. Uh, you have echo, turbo, single and dual. Single motor, only one motor, is the back one when it's single. Dual, both of them. Uh, echo is um, you driving pretty slow but it can last for more. The battery will last more so you can get a bet better mileage if you drive in echo. Turbo, however, it's for fun, <laughs> but it's very dangerous. So guys, please always helmet uh, and any other equipment like It's very you need to be very careful with this you can fold the scooter if you want to So you, if you put it pull it back and then um, Press here you can fold it. Okay now that I got the keys we can finally start it. Of course, I will not go because I don't want to bump into the fridge. <laughs> I still need this fridge, so you put in the keys. Yeah, as I said, the voltage the maximum uh, you can charge it up um, to protect, 67 protection for chest, volts. for elbows, That's for maximum shoulders, for everything. Um, yeah, as I said, the lights pretty powerful. Let me turn off the light. Pretty powerful if you ask me, but anyway, I don't ride in the night usually. Uh, yeah, let's see the horn. Oh man, <laughs> this is loud. Sounds like a clown. Yeah, let's let's see the screen. You hold it, as I said, you hold it. So you have a odometer. It says um, the mileage, how much you travel with the scooter. Uh, I don't know if I don't, uh, it's it's impossible on me. Mm, maybe it's kilometers. I don't know um, because I only charge it once. It's my first day on it. Um, here it says the wait. Let's focus. Here it says the mode mode one, mode two, mode three, uh, battery, and the um, speedometer. Yeah, let's turn it off. I don't want to. I don't want to press on the uh, throttle and to go in the fridge okay. um, by accident. So, oh yeah, let's let's see the turn sing, uh, turning signals. I believe they're called. Look at that. Let's turn off the light. Looks very really nice. I like them. It's still illegal here in UK, so very careful, guys. Um, however, the police doesn't stop you, but be very careful. Don't ride like a madman. Always stay safe and think about not only your safety, but about others' safety as well. Okay, what I didn't say is about the tires. The tires are 11 inch, I believe, uh, tubeless. Um, the motors, the hub motors, the inside of the wheels that you can actually see 2800 watts that's a lot of power my last scooter was uh, um, with a motor but with a chain and um, it was <laughs> the motor was only few I mean it's not only it's still quite powerful 2000 um, watts power but this one is too 2800 and it has two of them it's not only one it's two of them um, yeah it has a I don't know how this is called let's call it a leg <laughs> it has a leg 
um, the deck is pretty wide um, I wear shoes uh, size 8 I believe UK and you have a lot of lot of space on it you can put your you see you can put your usually I put my my uh, left leg on this but be careful not to put your leg on the signals
also, uh, what I forgot to mention is the scooter comes with two chargers. Yeah, two char chargers. Um, a 67.2 volts, two amps, uh, which is not bad. So remember, if it's bigger, if it has bigger amps, it means it will charge it faster. Uh, because I have a charger, a 5 amp charger for the last scooter, the previous scooter. Um, and it was charging much faster than this one. But this one has a bigger battery as well. So um, it charges somewhere around 5-6 hours, depends. Uh, my advice for the for bigger battery life is to not overcharge it, not to over discharge it. Uh, so, from what I know, if you want a bigger uh, battery life, first is the quality of the batteries. Of course, not some Chinese, cheap Chinese one. Mine's uh, from this company, uh, Panasonic, which are really good, uh, really good. Panasonic is doing also the batteries for Tesla, if I am not mistaken. So yeah, uh, two chargers, uh, two amps each. Uh, charging time six hours somewhere around that um, so yeah I think that's it with the review of this scooter um, it's a pretty good scooter I really like it I mean not pretty good it's a beast I, I really like it we'll see in the long term how it does uh, hopefully it will not break anything um, but even if it will break uh, the seller is a really really good uh, seller <laughs> Because always, even before I bought it, I asked him, I asked him a lot of questions, and um, he always responded, and very cheerful, very good. Uh, I can only, I don't know, I, I I can only say that I really recommend this company. Uh, but we'll see in the future if anything goes wrong. Um, I will make sure to upload another video uh, with the current situation. So that's it with the scooter. Take care guys and stay safe on the roads. Don't drive like madmen and <laughs> stay blessed guys. God bless you.